I met this, I think, one of my great dancers, uh, Valerie Bettis. And um, she was doing a dance based on a poem by John Malcolm Brennan. And she needed someone to narrate it, and I did it, narrate it with her, and we did it at the Humphrey Weidman. And she had an enormous success. And we began to collaborate. And she was very interested in finding a synthesis of dance and theater and dialogue. And, and Jerry was interested in that at the time, and Agnes certainly was interested in it. And in the um, interim, I began to teach. I'd known Sanford Meisner at the Neighborhood Playhouse. And when he would go off and do his um, play, act in plays, he would often ask me to come in and take over his advanced class, and I would rehearse them in something. I was a friend of Tennessee Williams at the time, although he knew me as an actor. Well, I was just beginning to write. And one of the things I did at the Playhouse, uh, Tennessee had written me a letter saying, I've just written another uncommercial play, but there are two parts that are good for you. And the play was called The Gentleman Caller at that time. And he sent it to me, and I wrote back, and I said, you know, I don't act any longer, but I have a slot at the Maybin Playhouse, and I, can, I can't do the whole play, because I can't find an Amanda, but I can do the gentleman caller scene, and I think it's a lovely play. And he said, well, go ahead and do it. So I began rehearsals on gentleman caller scene at the Playhouse, and Tennessee was absent-minded, and someone ran into him at the Promise Down Playhouse and said, you know, Horton is doing this, and it's going to be lovely. And he said, oh, my God, I just sold it to Eddie Dolly, Audrey, that was his agent, is going to kill me. But they allowed me to go ahead and do it. So I did the premiere <laughs> production of Half of Class by <laughs> And uh, anyway, because of my association with the Playhouse and because I'd begun working, I did a ballet for Valerie Bettis called Daisy Lee, which she toured with. And um, they asked me if I would write a, a one-act play that could incorporate all the disciplines at the school, the dance and the music and the theater. So I did, and they asked if I would direct it. I'd been directing them, and I said, yes, I would. And they said, Martha Graham is going to choreograph it. Well, today, if you told me that, I'd probably fall over on a faint, but you know, I was, what, 26, and I thought, well, that's how it is. You know, you work with Martha Graham. And Louis Horst was going to do the score, and one of the you know, great figures in modern dance. Well, they were just wonderful to me. Louis and I became long, really deep, long friendship. And Martha was marvelous, and it just was one of the great experiences I've ever had because she took this one-act play, and I don't know what she did, but in this marvelous theatrical imagination she had, you know, it became totally something else. And one of the really great seminal experiences in my life to have been with her. We worked together for about six weeks. <laughs> 